You know, Sam, uh, he, he refuses to say what all of his national security folks say, all of his intelligence chiefs say, that yes, what Russia did uh, was, was meddle in the U.S. election. They're continuing to do so, and they're looking ahead to, to do it even in a, in a bigger league going towards the midterm elections in 2020. He refuses to go there at all. He does, and I don't anticipate that changing. It's clear that he has a massive inferiority complex about how he won this election. That's clear from all of his tweets, every public statement that he makes. And he's not fulfilling his job as president, to state the obvious. He's so focused on his own narcissism that we're pointing fingers, we're stuck in the post game here of what Obama did or didn't do, rather than saying, okay, they meddled, what are we going to do now? We're under live attack, Wolf, and we're doing nothing about it. His, you know, one of his CIA directors says it's, it's happening, it's a serious problem. The director of national intelligence says it, the head of the National Security Agency. His own national security advisor, General McMaster, a three-star active duty general, was at a conference in Munich, said there's no question about it, to which the president publicly in a tweet rebuked his own national security advisor, General McMaster, forgot to say that the results of the 2016 election were not impacted or changed by the Russians and that uh, the only collusion was between Russia and crooked H. Hillary, the DNC and the Dems. Remember the dirty dossier, uranium speeches, emails, and the Podesta company. It's pretty amazing that he would publicly slam, humiliate his own national security advisor and active duty lieutenant general. I think it's incredibly striking, and I, I think it's very interesting. You hear this president say time and time again, no collusion, no collusion. He's maintained that. But if you look at the text of this indictment, and I think every American really should, it's rather accessible and, and incredibly detailed. It never says that. When you heard the deputy attorney general come out and speak about this, he didn't make any claims to whether there's collusion or not. Again, you see this president doing something that career staffers have warned makes it harder to do their jobs. He is casting doubt on not just law enforcement, on the intelligence communities, on the very people that Americans rely on to keep their country safe and saying that their findings aren't valid. And that's really scary.